today on Divorce Court. I love Brandon. He makes me laugh, but he's cheating in the past and flirting with women. I don't like it, and to me, it's very disrespectful. I love Janelle, but it's hard transitioning becoming a single man to being a father and a future husband that she wants me to be. Brandon doesn't show his emotions at all, and sometimes I feel like he doesn't love me. As long as those kids taken care of and that rent is being paid, everything else is irrelevant. If Brandon doesn't change, we're not going to be together. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Janelle Lewis and Brandon Silas. The two of you are thinking about getting married or having few complications, so you've come to me for uh, my advice. I have your uh, marriage license here. If I think it's a good idea, I'll give it back, but you've given me permission to tear it up. So I think your union is ill-advised. You have one child together. Yes, ma'am. And you have uh, five children total. And you have just the one yeah, with her. But I have to, I claim the other two as well because I've been knowing them since That's wonderful. Nine. It's nice to hear. I, I, I like that. Thank you, Mr. Sire. <laughs> Tell me why you want to marry. I know part of it, you have a child together, but you're not so sure. Well, first thing is his cheating in the past. Okay. That's one reason. His anger issues. And he don't show emotional. Okay, let's start with the first one, the cheating. Why don't you give me a couple of stories that tells me the kind of things he's been doing? Well, in the past, when I was seven months pregnant, he cheated on me, and I found out. How'd you find out? I went through his phone. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, he tried to delete it, but I went through the out-of-box, the out-of-thing box thing. Mm -hmm. And I found the messages and called the girl. She told me. D is, that a, is that accurate, Mr. Silas? It could be. I mean, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm now, saying? Now, now, explain that to me. It could be. Well, at one point in the moment, there was that, that situation with uh, maybe, like, uh, with my ex at point in the moment, we were kind of going through, like, you know, little cahoots with each other, but it was nothing serious, you know what I'm saying? It was nothing serious until, like, basically after we took our break, and then, you know, we kind of, you know, it linked up and that happened, but it was to the fact that we had a break. It wasn't while me and uh, Janelle was together. So you were on a break while she was seven months pregnant? That yeah, I was kicked out the house. I mean, you know, I mean, how would I take, how would any what? man take now, that? Now, why, did you kick him out the house? Yes, I did. Why'd you kick him out the house? Because I find thought he was cheating. Of course <laughs> I'm supposed to. Before, <laughs> tell me another story. <laughs> another story is, is that he constantly first, like, takes other women. Like, he think it's just, oh, this is my partner, this is my friend. You're not supposed to do that when you're in a relationship. Honestly, Yana, I mean, I feel like basically if 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 I'm texting a woman, uh, if if basically a friend, it's just basically like, hey, how you doing? Uh, you're not supposed to do that. Uh, 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 you've been working. Yeah, I've been working. You know, I'm getting taken care of my family. Everything's straight with me and her. But you know, sometimes she'll catch them text messages when they're coming to me like. What you doing? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Is you is you getting out? So tonight? you're just chit chatting, is what you're saying. You're just talking. Calling sort of to that sort, but not really. Chit not really. <laughs> not well, chit I appreciate your honesty, <laughs> Mr. Silas, because yeah. what you're telling me, you are doing a little flirting on the phone. No, I can, I can admit to that. Yeah, you, you, flirt. you But it's it honest feels flirt. good. It's, it's nothing like to me to the fact I'm trying to go sleep with them at the end of the day, because I know who I go to bed with at night. Mm -hmm. All right. Have you caught him cheating any other time other than the one time when you were seven months pregnant? Um, no. That was Just it? Just the flirting, and that time I caught him cheating. No. Can you understand how the flirting would be an issue for her? Yeah, I mean, it could kind of feel a person may feel like a little intimidation or they may feel like a man's, per a man's head may be elsewhere. That right. could be a possibility, but I feel like if you know me, you should know that ain't where my head at. Well, and, and, and I hear you. I hear you. And, 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 and you're reading right guy with a little mistake, but do you know that there are free radical women out there who will take advantage of you? Do you, you know what I'm saying? You start a little bit here and there, you think it's not a problem, but they think they got a man. You know what I mean? And then they start here, and then there's a little touching, and come over, I got a problem. I did it. Yeah, hey, wait, wait. Next thing you know, you have a beer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, you jeopardize your union when you, when you hold your hand outside the window like that. I understand. You understand you know, what I'm saying? I understand. Everybody's you know. human. You know, and, and and with that being said, you know, I, all that's understandable, you know, but uh, it's just, you know, she she, she can be kind of confrontational and kind of could give me that, 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 that kind of that, you know, that police type, that pressure the on me. Type pressure. That police pressure on me, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, I just want her to ease up on that, like... G give me an example of that police type pressure. <laughs> I can show you. 
All right, first competition we had, you know, we on bourbon, walking down the street. Mm -hmm. You know, a few women taking the looks, kind of looks at me, you know what I'm saying? I kind of caught a look at a female, too, but it wasn't to the fact I was like, you know, I'm about to go talk to her. Mm -hmm. Oh, here she come. Who you know her, you know this, who do all that. I know you ain't gonna talk to her, she looking at you up. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I just got my little dagger in my hand. I'm like, man, I just want to walk down the street. I'm here with you. She come out of nowhere with that. Basically, with that being said, and uh, Daniana, I really just want her to kind of get that 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 backed up where we at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, back so, up off that anger. Yeah, get that anger, get that competition about you. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not trying to do, trying to do anything wrong, Miss Lewis. Yeah. Did you hear him? I hear him, but he has anger too. All the, his anger's not perfect either. Tell me about his anger. Issue. Like, his anger goes from, like, Pivis is, is, like, he talking to you, but if we talking, he always say, like, he knows it all. Mm -hmm. But you don't know it all, because I don't know it all, so I know you don't know it all. Because <laughs> you know more than he does. <laughs> right, so it's like he, he thinks he knows it all. So when he knows it all, you said something that's right. Oh, no, that's not right. That's not right. How This is this way. No, it's this way. This is the right way. What you said is the way you want to do it. Okay, do, 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 I, are you are equally hot-tempered? I, 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 it's, it's, I'm not caught totally agreeing with that. It's just to the fact where, you know, I, 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 I'm the head of the household. I feel like, you know, I, I, I should be been already had this already organized and everything should have been said and done at the end of the day. Guess what? I know what I'm talking about. I've been through a lot, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that fool, you know, it, yeah, I, well, you know, it's just the fact that when I'm trying to get us to kind of get like a, a, a agreement going on. Mm-hmm. It's shattered. We not going. We not finna get into no agreement. It's all the way nowhere. You ain't finna do it like this. Uh, and then it's just become weak. It's just a mess. It's yeah, a mess because we never got to the bottom of the situation. Then my ex get brought up again. So you know, with that being said, getting pulled up with that, like I said, they go that police. Well, you crushing. stay in touch with your exes, don't you? Uh, not all of them. No, I don't. Not all of them, but a few. Uh, to be honest with you, not no, no. No. I don't. Uh -uh. I got bad information on that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Does he stay in touch with his he's, exes? Now he does it, but in the past, like, he stayed in touch with Like, that was like his best friend he played. This is my best friend she Can been Can I there. tell you this? If you ever start an argument or a conversation with, yeah, but he did it in the past, it's not a conversation you need to have. Right. You know, because if someone's doing better, you can't bring up when he was doing worse or he has no reason to continue to get better. Okay. Just putting that out there. Her friends always in our business. Family that, too. It is too many things I'm not finna tell you because I don't need them knowing my business. When you tell people about his business, typically what you're doing is complaining about him. Rarely do women call up and say, yes, he was really good in bed last night. I just thought I'd let you know. Ms. Lewis, you contend that Mr. Silas is emotionally unavailable. What do you mean by that? He is. Like, he, he doesn't show emotion at all. I don't know when he's hurting. I don't know when he's sad. I don't know none of it because he doesn't show it. Mm -hmm. I have to pick an argument to, to see it. That's how I know So he's the emotional. only emotion you, he ever gives you is anger? He, exactly. That's the only time he gives me emotion is when he's angry. What is it you want him to talk to you about that he's not willing to share? Like... Stuff when he was a kid and what he goes through on a daily basis. See, a man, every man goes through stuff on a daily basis. So I know once you hit the real world, you're going to go through stuff. He doesn't talk to me about that. Mm -hmm. I guess he feels because I'm a woman, I don't know it. But I understand it. I probably don't know it, but I understand, understand it. it. Or, or you can always listen. Yeah, I can listen to you. I got ears. Okay, yeah. Mr. Silas, what is your what is your vision on that? If I could speak. Um, honestly, it's basically because our friends always in our business. Family, that, too. No. So, therefore, you dig what I'm saying? It, it is too many things I'm not finna tell you because I don't need them knowing my business. You know what I'm saying? So, therefore, with that being said, no, I mean, a lot of things me and her can't kind of, kind of cahoots on. We can't get kind of communication mm -hmm. gathered because you're using them, your information from your people. I think she's not talking so much about the details of your day as to how you feeling. Are you happy? What's good? Tell me a good story. Did you enjoy work? A conversation about the kids. Let's, you know, sharing your soul, not so much of uh, the facts. You with me? I follow you. You, you. you follow that? She wants to think like you confide in her with respect to, you know, hey, what'd you do today, baby? You know, that, yeah, you know, that yeah. wasn't, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of this, that, and the other to, to feed that need that we have to hear from you. 
You know? Mm -hmm. Now you're telling your friends and your family all of his business. It's not that I'm telling him. If you I have know. no one to talk to, who you know. gonna like? It's not that I tell him. It's if you have no one to talk to. So I call them, you know, my let relatives. Me let me tell you something. That's unfair. It's unfair to him for a number of reasons. Number one, he doesn't want his business out in the street. And by the time it gets back to him, it's never as he told you. It's always something else. That's mm. number one. Number two, when you tell people about his business, typically what you're doing is complaining about him. Rarely do women call up and say, yes, he was really good in bed last night. I just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> what you do is you say, yeah, he went into this and he did that and other thing, and then they get a very negative, lopsided picture of him because you call up with all that negativity. So they're not going to like him. They're going to talk about him. <laughs> Behind their back. Right. That's going to get back to him. And yet again, he speaks not to you. So you're killing yourself with that. L l let me say, say this to you. Mm -hmm. We do like to talk. Oh, yeah. And it's really cool <laughs> when we can talk to the guy we got. Mm -hmm. Less likely to talk to somebody else. Women love to be heard. And it, not in an order to be told what to do or be corrected or get information. We just want to tell you how we feel. Exactly. And if you give us an opportunity to tell you how we feel, we will just love ourselves some you. You with me, Mr. Silas? I understand. All righty. The family room came in after Mr. Brandon and why my baby's like being in there. Why the nurse was in there. So this family member just bogged Just bogged, bogged, bogged. Yes, just, yeah, just swabbed just like, him let me swab. and swabbed. Did you have any concerns at all as to whether or not that baby was yours? Should Janelle let go of the past and start trusting Brandon more? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at DivorceCourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mr. Silas, why don't you tell me about the money issues the two of you have between you? Uh, basically, like, the money issue would be a problem with her is basically if I, if I tell her to go to the store because, you know, sometimes, like I tell you, I work, I don't be, I don't be able to kind of go and make them those type of store runs. So if I tell her to go make a store run, I give her a couple of dollars. Let's go get some soap. I need some toilet. We need toilet tissue. You know, we need all type basis. of things for the house. Yeah, the basis for the house. All right. I sent her to the store. <sighs> Couple of dollars, you know, enough to get whatever thing I just told her to get. She, put your while she come back with some soap and just some tissue. I'm like, well, you know, we, we got something to wipe herself, you know what I'm saying, to take a bath with. But uh, what happened to the everything else, like the dish detergent, what we gonna, what we gonna wash the dishes with? The soap, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, with, with, with certain things, with money management. Where do you with... think that money's going? No, she just ain't shopping, right? Ms. It's really kind of basically like what we, she wants she... to get. So... Yeah, we got a money budget. You know does, does she buy personal things like, you know, fingernail polish and stuff like that? Or do you think she's just not good at getting bargains with the money that you give her? I think it's the money that I'm giving her and she ain't bargaining right with it. You know do what I'm you, saying? Do you shop a lot? Who, me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. I mean at the grocery store and, and doing the items, the basic things. No, oh, I no, do a lot of input, let, Here, let me tell you something. <laughs> My father never knew how much anything cost because he didn't go to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. He had to rely on his wife for that. If you never go to the grocery store, you don't know how much costs. You know much, how much you think it ought to cost, mm -hmm. but you don't know how much it costs. So you can't say she's doing a bad bargain budgeting if you are not familiar with the numbers. Right. That's what I'm going to say to you about that. But my understanding, he likes to shop for himself. Oh, yes, he likes to shop. He, he, he likes to shop. He goes shopping. He shop for the kids. You know, he give me the money for myself, but he likes to shop, like, all the time. Yeah. You shop a lot? Yeah. Like I like to look, look good. good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if the kids go look good, you know what I'm saying, why not make a perfect picture for myself? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right you, you got money uh, stocked away for the kids when they're going to have to have extracurriculars and college and all that? You got oh, yeah. that? You got some, you got some mad paper stacked for those little people? Yeah. Because those people are expensive. Oh, yeah. If yeah. you want to get them out of the house, you know? Yeah. They got to do a lot of things that cost a lot of money. I don't think you have mad paper stacked. I'm it ain't mad, but it's upset, you know Yeah, you, you got to have mad paper stacked, <laughs> it's upset okay? People, right? All right. Ms. Lewis, why don't you tell me what happened in the... Uh, when you had your baby? 
some family member came in and, and, and did something outrageous. Why don't you well, tell me what happened? The family member came in after Mr. Brandon and swabbed my baby for a DNA test while the nurse was in there. So this family member just bogarted. Just came bog bogan, bogan. Just, just, yeah, just swabbed was like, him Let me and swab. swabbed it. Did you have any concerns at all as to whether or not that baby was yours? I say I had an ounce because I like to keep it real, but I mean, as far as the overall judgment, when I first seen that, I knew that was mine. Mm -hmm. Did you talk to your family member about that? Yeah, I had Did to you let get them... it straightened out? Yeah, I had to let them know that wasn't the right thing to do. I kind of thought it would have done it a little more better. Probably would have done it when we was in kind of like a little privacy, you know, but I mean, you know. But you got to... it straight, you yeah. yeah, everything was straight. I had to go through hell and back, though. I know why you like him. <laughs> I get it. I get what the problem is, too. And we're going to get to that now. What issue must Janelle and Brandon address before they get married? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. When I read your information, I was all ready not to like you guys. I thought there was too much ratchetness going on to make a union worthwhile. But you know what I see? I see a man who changed for you. I see a man where you, in order to talk about his cheating or the wrongs, you have to say, in the past. And I think you need to leave that in the past. Don't let that follow you around. Because when that follows you around, that's nothing but fear. And your fear will come out as anger, anger towards him, which will cause him to do the very thing you don't want him to do, which is to find peace in the arms of another woman. Yeah. All right? That's number one. Number two, I think he's a good dude. He's got a job. He works hard. I think he loves you. Uh, and uh, I think you guys are a little young, but... You know, you got to control the manner in which you have your conversations with your man. And you got to control who you have your conversations with outside of your house. It has to be the country, it's Lewis Silas. It has to be, this is, this is our world. This is comfortable where you, you can find in me, my, my mother, my father, my, my brothers, my sisters, my Facebook fan. Nobody has access to this piece and part of me that I have with this dude in this house and our children and the children he calls his own that you brought in from another place. And I want you to remember what you got when you look at him like that. Now, Mr. Silas, you're a little unctuous. It's like unctuous. It's like a little river of oil under some water. You, you, you're kind of slick and you cool and you're laid back. That's why the ladies like you. You can be very uh, charming and disarming, and you use that, and it's fun to watch women swoon at your ability to do so. Now, let me tell you what you're doing to her when you do that. You're making the mother of your children afraid that you're gonna leave, and it's awful to live afraid all day, every day. If you wanna be smooth and charming, you go ahead and do that. Don't do that in front of her. Don't catch sight and all this kind of stuff while you're with her. And don't keep up with your exes and all that because that's not defending the, the country Silas. It is not. You're standing over the wall. You've got a breach in it. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think you two are wonderful people. I think you need to learn how to have a conversation. You need to learn who not to talk to. And you've got to keep all that disarming, smiling, cool headed in her direction. Exactly. You with me? <laughs> Are you with me? Yes, ma'am. Did anything I say to make sense to you? Yes, indeed. Uh, it anything make, I yes. say makes sense to it you? It makes sense. You two are a good couple. I hope everything works well from here on in. Marry the woman and enjoy your life. This matter is adjourned. <laughs>they the judge got, gave us a lot of advice on basically keeping myself together as far as not spending so much, uh, giving my most time to my wife, and basically everything else would be to the, you know, to the good. And me to let go the past, and I bring it up again. That was excellent, because it's true. I always bring your past up. Yeah, we're going to show definitely you as our advice like. on further on our life. We know this is be the positive vibe to keep us together for, for, 